Peyton Zoo and the Whitley Wildlife Conservation Trust have been involved in conservation in Nigeria since about the mid-1990s and we ended up uh, sponsoring the environmental ed education project in the Omo Forest Reserve where the forest elephants um, had been discovered you know, pretty close to the commercial capital of Lagos. Settlements are growing in size so you have increasing population so settlements are growing and so forest is being cleared for housing and then subsistence farming even around those areas. So there's a lot of people in the area, uh, a lot of poverty. Uh, one of the problems is that uh, you know, there's very limited economic opportunities for people. And so uh, if there's no enforcement, if there's no education, uh, then of course people are going to see forests uh, as essentially sort of empty land which is a, which to them just seems to be available uh, to exploit or to clear for farming. Once an area of land is being opened, it's been cleared, then set on fire, then the diversity of that place is gone. When you bring in crops, it's only some few resilient species that can utilize that same portion of land. Logging is also a huge activity. And because we have an, um, the government plantations around, people overstep the boundaries of that into the natural forest and take um, natural wood. Forest elephant lives here and they play an important ecological role. They disperse seed, also they modify the structure of the vegetation. The OSO project is not just about the elephant, but the elephants are the key species because every other thing around, most species, plants, animals, somehow benefit from the activities of elephants in this forest. What are we leaving to the next generation? If we kill all of them, what are we leaving to the next generation? So it's a, it's a cultural thing even for us. It's something that is very important for us that these elephants must survive. So now we have this idea of the Omo Shasha Olua uh, Forest Elephant Initiative, uh, which seeks to establish new conservation areas, new wildlife sanctuaries, not only in the Omo Forest Reserve, but also in the adjacent Olua and Shasha forest reserves. We have a very limited number of wildlife. There's all the sort of typical African rainforest fauna. There are dikers. African grey parrots. What is elephant? Pangolin. Nigerian Cameroon chimpanzee. The white throated Gwenon. Yellow packs hornbill. If they go into extinctions, they that are children will not be able to see them, will not be able to know the type of the animal or the type of the plant. We tell them that those endangered species of the animals and the plants should be kept and should be sustained. We're taking a twofold approach to sort of mitigating those threats and to conserving the area. One is the long-standing education projects, which we're hoping will raise awareness of um, both of the importance of the forest and the, and the wildlife within it ecologically. And the other strand to conservation is, is the more sort of formal protection, which we need the state governments involved 
to outline what activities uh, are legal or allowed in the remaining core areas of rainforest uh, and to police that. If there is a proper education and awareness, it will guide people on how to live, how to appreciate their environment, and even if they want to depend on the forest, how to do it on a sustainable basis. <laughs> protect the, the wildlife and we also tell people not to litter the environment. The conservation club was set up to spread the message of conservation in the community through our members. We want to use them as change agents in the community. As long as people keep doing what they're doing, spreading the message that we've been spreading, doing the work as should be done, and getting the attention that these projects would get, I think that this project is going to be here for a very, very long time. Not just the project, but I think the forests would, would survive. What we do is to save the remaining few population of forest elephants and other important wildlife and trees. But we need support, we need help, so that this goal can be achieved.